Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go What is up you guys, welcome back to another one If you are new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony. I do new car track SUV reviews on YouTube And today, we are in the brand new 2022 Acura TLX Type S courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, yes, they got this one in on a trade, so definitely wanted to check it out. I haven't actually got to check out the TLX Type S yet, and this one is special to me because my very first car was an RSX, so even the gauge cluster looks identical to my old RSX I had back in the day. I believe it was a 2003, so I am super excited for this one, not just because of that, but because it is a Type S, of course, as well. But ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the 2022 TLX Type S will start at $53,700. Then there is a performance wheel and tire package. That one is going to start at $54,500. But regardless of what setup that you go with, the power plant is going to be the same on the Type S. Powering the Beast is a three liter twin scroll turbocharged six cylinder engine, putting out 355 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 354 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1400 rpm power sent to all four wheels this does come with acura's super handling all-wheel drive and specifically this one is tuned for the tlx type s so a little different all-wheel drive setup at least comparatively speaking to the non-type s tlx so but that power is going to be sent to the ground through a 10 speed automatic with paddle shifters and rev matching so we're going to test out the paddle shifters here in a little bit zero to 60 is going to come in at approximately 5.1 seconds quarter mile time if you're interested 13.7 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 19 in the city, 24 in the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here on the TLX Type S, I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes, or as Acura would call it, dynamic mode. There's a circular dial located just in front of the shift buttons here. If I turn that to the left or to the right, that is going to change the drive mode. It's going to make a nice little sound when you do that as well, which is pretty cool. But ultimately, those drive modes will include comfort, normal, sport, and individual of course individual allowing you to tailor the car to your own personal liking ultimately adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity and suspension settings then as well and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway here i want to put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test all at once let's see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react for us here and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 tlx type s here up to speed all right first gear We'll roll it second first gear here we go it shifted it's quick you hear that that sound is wonderful it's quick it's quick as freaking stick that was fun actually i i really like that paddle shifters are pretty darn quick as well and like i said the engine noise or exhaust note was absolutely wonderful we will be doing an exhaust clip a little bit later in the video but Having said that, the downside is I even pressed the DNS button because I wanted to put it in that full sport mode, which I thought would allow me full control over the shifting, and that wasn't the case, unfortunately. So the TLX Type S does shift for you if you don't, and it feels like you should be shifting. So that's a major drawback. But having said that, this thing is plenty quick. It's definitely going to put a smile on your face when you hit the gas. So not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway whatsoever. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 14.3 inch ventilated front disc in the back 13 inch solid rear disc you will get 1.3 inch larger front disc comparatively speaking to the non type s so a little bit larger brake configuration with the type s so that's pretty cool as far as the 60 to zero stopping distance goes it's going to come in at a very impressive 112 feet so nothing wrong with that whatsoever and that was one of the first things i noticed when i first got in this thing the brakes do bite pretty darn freaking good it instantly brings you to a stop so it's not a soft braking feel whatsoever i actually love the feel to the brakes on the type s so definitely a huge fan of that then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension you will also get though an adaptive damping suspension and so 
ultimately what that is is it's going to monitor each shock absorber individually not only adjusting to the road imperfections giving you a smoother ride but it's also going to tighten up that suspension during heavy cornering giving you the best of both worlds and that is always a suspension setup i always like to recommend if it doesn't come standard luckily it does come standard on the type s because it is giving us a very smooth ride as i'm driving down some pretty darn smooth roads right now also i'll say that but it is a pretty darn smooth ride in the tlx type s and actually let's put it back in sport mode steering feels great holy cow this thing handles like a champ instantly points you in the direction that you want to go the steering feel is definitely weighted on the heavier side of things which you would appreciate in a car like the type s so 100 percent steering feel is on point as far as cabin noise goes really what you get when you hit the gas is that wonderful exhaust note so i am an absolute huge fan of that but having said that there is an acoustic laminated front windshield so when you put it into comfort mode and you're not really getting on it cabin noise is pretty much subdued i do have the air on right now but that's really all i'm getting at the moment so definitely no issues with the cabin noise did want to also mention though along the lines of sportiness there is high performance chassis bracing for the type s as well so that's certainly going to assist with some better handling to go along with all of that and touching on visibility this is a sedan i can see 100 percent perfectly fine out the back so definitely not going to have any issues there and rain sensing windshield wipers also do come standard across the board so that's definitely going to help you out with visibility as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 acura tlx type s all right here she is guys the new 2022 acura tlx type s definitely looking very aggressive but as always let's go ahead and start up front on this one starting to the corners there dual eye led headlights do come standard in typical acura fashion there they do come with led daytime running lights as well along with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark at night those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there automatic high beams then to go along with that if you look in the front grille you're going to find some gloss black surrounds but of course that type s badging as well and if you pay even closer attention you're going to find that the adaptive cruise control sensor is going to be found basically where the acura logo is and they kind of incorporated the design of the front grill into that cruise control sensor as well so that is a pretty cool look also zooming out a little bit and down kind of towards the bottom you're going to find that giant front intercooler found just below that front grill because of course the tlx type s does come with that turbocharged engine to the sides you actually do have some front air curtains that are kind of disguised a little bit by the black mesh found in the bottom corners there but they are there the front air curtains are there helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination and overall definitely a very menacing look up front i definitely like the front end but that pretty much rounds out the front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one all right so but now since we are around to the side of the tlx type s gloss black window surrounds do come standard you do have some type s badging found on the front fenders you guys can clearly see that as well take a look at the side mirrors they are body colored slash gloss black they kind of have a two color combination there and that color combination will come standard they are power adjustable they are heated they come with led integrated turn signals also coming with the reverse gear tilt down feature they are power folding and they do come with LED puddle lights projecting down as well, which is pretty darn cool. So tons going on with those side mirrors. I like the body colored side skirts, of course, as well. And take a look at the wheel configuration. 20 by 9 inch shark ray multi-spoke alloys coming standard with all season tires. However, like I said, there is a wheel and tire package that does add to the price, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. But that particular package gives you 20 by 9 inch yet again, but lightweight alloys coming with pirelli p0 summer tire so that's going to be the differentiation there when it comes to the price but pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back and so but now since we are around to the back of this one body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top just below that you will find a gloss black rear spoiler ties in very good with all the other gloss black accents on this thing led taillights in a very aggressive looking design back there you got the type s badging of course yet again super handling all-wheel drive badging also found on the trunk itself and just below it all you're going to find a very aggressive looking rear diffuser finished in gloss black led license plate lighting of course and then to the sides dual exhaust outlets with very large quad chrome tips so having said that i'm looking forward to this and looking forward to playing this back but as always here is that exhaust clip All 
right, so for now, since we are around to the back of the Type S, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there are three different ways to go ahead and do that. There is a button on the key fob itself. That is one way. There's also a button on the driver's side door. That's the second way. And lastly, there is actually a button on the inside the rear tail light on the passenger side that is the third way so plenty of different ways to go ahead and open up that trunk but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 13.5 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down then for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it there is some cargo lighting back there as well and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you will find a little bit of in-floor storage but then making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 34.9 inches so for reference i mean even six feet this is how much space I have back there. There is going to be rear ventilation coming standard for those rear passengers. There is also then a rear center armrest with cup holders, along with like a little slot you could possibly put yourself in then as well, which is pretty cool. Although, we'll say wouldn't have minded seeing some USB charging ports back there. That I did not find. But now, make our way then up to the front seats. 16-way power adjustable front seats with power lumbar and thigh extensions and side bolsters. So plenty of different adjustments can be had there. There's going to be a leather suede combination coming standard as well. Essentially, the red part of the seats are going to be the leather and the black part of the seats are going to be the suede. So definitely a very nice configuration there. You will get some type S badging found in the headrest. So that is embroidered. That looks pretty darn good as well. Heated and ventilated seats will also come standard. And overall, because of the 16 way power adjustable front seats, incredibly comfortable seats without a doubt not only that the vertical seams that means you don't have any awkward horizontal pressure points going into your back so i always love when seats have vertical seams for that particular reason then as well so no issues there taking a look then at the steering wheel also something i loved a lot tilt and telescoping of course leather wrapped you get the flat bottom with the type s lettering at the bottom but the perforated steering wheel the grips feel absolutely wonderful so i was a huge fan of the feel of the steering wheel overall then making our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here and uh you do have a type s specific key so you got the type s badging the accurate badging then when you flip it over lock unlock the button to pop the rear trunk and the engine hold button that is going to be your remote start which of course comes standard but ultimately it is all keyless entry with a push button start as well so in this case all i'm going to do is simply put my foot of the brake and press that silver and red engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so one of my favorite parts about this car now Upon startup, but taking a look at the gauges, you got your tachometer on your left, speedometer on your right, digital display front and center, but the gauges themselves are a silver and red look, which directly come off of the RSX because my RSX back in the day had this exact same gauge cluster without the massive digital display front and center, but you have the silver background with the red illumination. It looks absolutely wonderful and it's definitely giving me a throwback right now, but ultimately all of that digital display can be adjusted by using the steering wheel mounting controls found on the right side of the steering wheel. You could do things like a digital speedometer, trip A, trip B, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. Basically the list goes on every Everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A power moonroof is going to come standard. LED interior lighting though also coming standard. You don't always get that. You got an overhead sunglass holder then as well. You do have a frameless rear view mirror, auto dimming as well with homely controls for up to three different garage doors. Gotta love that. You got some brushed aluminum trim found on the doors. Big fan of that as well. You got an ebony headliner, also aluminum foot pedals. And overall, I like the red contrast stitching that can be found just above the passenger side glove box and around the infotainment screen which we're going to get to here in a second goes good with the seats it goes good with the gauges goes good with the leather accents found on the doors found in red as well so just behind the shift buttons you actually have a volume knob for the radio so that was pretty smart actually adding a volume knob you do have a wireless phone charger to the left of the cup holder so i was a big fan of that as well and within the center armrest you got a 12 volt power outlet two usb charging ports an auxiliary port and plenty of space found within there as well so overall very sporty interior quite honestly i have absolutely no issues when it comes to interior quality but now let's go ahead and make our way to that infotainment screen you were going to get a 10.2 inch color display coming standard bluetooth and audio streaming also standard android auto apple carplay of 
of course, factory navigation system coming standard yet again. You can also check out your drive modes up there and that is going to display the TLX basically driving in virtual form when you change those drive modes. So I thought that was pretty cool. And of course your radio information up there as well. And by the way, I should have mentioned this already, but to adjust what is on that infotainment screen, it is not a touch screen, but rather you use a touchback controller and buttons located directly underneath of the shift buttons here. So it is a bit of a reach. So I would be very surprised if it ever was a touch screen because it is a very long reach to get there. So just use the touchpad controller and buttons. Definitely something that is going to be very easy to get used to. So I had no problems with that. But also, of course, you can check out your radio information up on that screen. So when it comes to the sound system for the TLX Type S, it is one of them. It is amazing on paper. We're going to test it out here in a second. But 17 speaker ELS studio sound system. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let me turn the air down a little bit. Let's go ahead and find what's on the radio here. And let's test out our 17 speaker sound system that we have here with us today. Dang good, definitely no issues with the sound system. Plenty of bass. The first thing I noticed was like, why am I getting so much clarity in my left ear right here? Well, because this little grab handle has a speaker directly behind it. So that speaker was going directly into my ear. I was like, whoa. Where is that coming from? It's crazy, but plenty of speakers, plenty of bass, plenty of clarity. That sound system is 100% on point without a doubt. But then last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the TLX Type S in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with several different angles, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the TLX is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. From side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard is something called acura watch and that's their safety suite more or less that's going to include a collision mitigation braking system with advanced pedestrian detection adaptive cruise control lane keep assist room departure mitigation system traffic sign recognition traffic jam assist forward collision warning lane departure warning and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new 2022 tlx type s pretty darn quick for one definitely going to put a smile on your face it's not just not having trouble merging onto the highway this thing is fast man it's definitely going to make you smile rsx third back gauges i'm absolutely in love with that of course excellent safety you really can't beat an iihs top safety pick plus brilliant sound system as well. Really the only drawback that I can possibly think of is the paddle shifters and the fact that it actually shifts for you when you don't want it to. So I would love for Acura to give the TLX Type S a mode of full control over the shifting. That would be absolutely wonderful. But that's really all I got as far as constructive criticisms go. And let me know what you guys think of the TLX Type S in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. You got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. Uh, that's why I say.